Hi, this is Frank Warren, you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here at the OVO Arena where we've just witnessed Gilet Jong. Gilles Zhang stopped Joe Joyce in emphatic fashion in round three. Delighted to be joined by Dev Sani. Dev, the warning signs were there. Gilles Zhang's done it again. I mean, firstly, just get your reaction on his performance and his win against Joe Joyce. Um, first of all, I'm gutted for Joe Joyce. Heartbroken for Joe Joyce. Um, looks like he just ran into the guy that he couldn't get past. And Gilles Zhang is a real, real terrifying problem in the heavyweight division. Uh, his resume now should read Ergovic win and then back-to-back -back wins, uh, stoppage wins over Joe Joyce, which is uh, an incredible resume to be putting together. He's heavy-handed, fast heavy hands, fast southpaw heavy hands. Very, very difficult to beat and um, I thought he, he was excellent tonight. He, he got everything right that he wanted to get right and he said that this time it would be more devastating than it was. Is it fair to say that Zhele Zhang should now be considered the most dangerous heavyweight outside of Fury and Usyk right now? No. I mean, look, he's, he's tremendous, right? But my, he, he makes my top four. I, I would say Fury's number one. But you can't forget about Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is, is a monster. He's number two for me. Uh, and he gave Fury hell. Then I'd go Usyk. Then I'd go Zhang. I do think Zhang could probably beat Alexander Usyk. I don't think Usyk's getting any better and uh, Zhang just seems to be like a fine wine right now and there'd be like a 60 pound weight difference between the two of them. Unbelievable. He's a real problem. Queen 3 have backed Joe Joyce since the very start of his professional career after he won the silver medal in the Olympics in 2016 and I'm pretty sure they'll continue to back him but obviously the end choice will come down to what Joe Joyce wants to do next so what do you think he will do next Ev? It's going to be a Joe Joyce uh, question it's up it's up to him i still think personally he can beat a lot of heavyweights out there that, that that's my belief i just think he ran into a guy that he can't beat uh, it's, it's a guy bigger than him a guy heavier than him a guy that stands the wrong way uh, and it's it's a real problem and i still think he can beat a lot of guys out there so up to him really zhang is uh, promoted by queensbury so surely potentially that's an easy fight to make between fury versus zhang if it was to happen who knows? I mean, the thing is, he's the WBO mandatory, so he gets a world title shot uh, regardless. He, at the moment, he's the mandatory for Usyk. If Usyk's the world champion when the WBO mandatory gets called, he fights Usyk. So, uh, so let's see. But he, look, he'll fight either of them, uh, Usyk or Fury. Uh, and he's, he's a real problem. All right, Dev, I'm not going to keep you for too long because I know you've got quite a few people waiting to speak to you. But thank you very much for your time, as always, and uh, look forward to catching up with you at the next fight week. No worries, my friend. Nice to speak.